Hey everybody, happy Friday. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your energy check-in. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenoflight1111.com. So this top row here is we're looking at the connection. We're looking at the energy of the connection today, Friday, on Saturday, and then on Sunday. And then we're going to look at with this bottom row, what is Divine Feminine's energy through this weekend? and masculine's energy through this weekend as related to each other. Let's go ahead and get started with the bottom of the deck for the connection. We have the judgment card. I like this card. It's judgment headed into the world. And so this card is um, about tying up loose ends, right? Because when you think of judgment, it's about karma. It's about awakening. It's about things coming up. Um, to be addressed. The world card is all about completion and accomplishment. And so in this in-between um, tarot card of judgment headed into the world, it's about tying up those loose ends, okay? It's this energy of preparing for the final stage. We're in this energy of tying up the loose ends, freeing ourselves from a clutter so we can move freely in this connection again. We've been talking a lot about loose ends. So on Friday, today, what is the energy of the connection? We have the two of wands into the three of wands. Two of wands is that crossroads energy, right? Choices um, at the crossroads, kind of deciding where you want to go. Three of wands is that energy of partnership, of growth, of expansion. So this card here, you've got this woman, right? You've got this feminine energy and she's made a choice and she's practicing her skill. She's balancing those balls right up in the air. And then all of a sudden off in the distance is this masculine energy saying, hey, hey, I, I want to play. I want to I wanna join you. So this in-between stage is really about do I want to further this dream? It's about this energy where the feminine may be nervous about joining forces with masculine again. You know, she's worked really hard on herself. She's worked hard to get in, into a place of balance where she can balance those two balls in the air. It took her a long time to perfect these skills. So there's some trepidation. So, you know, this could be an energy that feminines are feeling today on Friday that, you know, maybe the masculine is in there, is in the peripheral. Does she want to bring him back? Allow him back? Saturday, we have the four of wands headed into the five of wands. Lots of wands energies. We have the two headed into the three, the four headed into the five. This is chaos, right? Four of wands is that energy of the union. Five of wands is the energy of competition, external interference. This in-between concept is that there is some chaos on Saturday. Right? Here's this chaos energy. It could be emotion uh, emotion overload. It could be bruised egos. Maybe there's some sort of confrontation that happens in this connection. But here's the thing. It's like there's an observation here that things could either go wrong or they can go well. How are you going to navigate through the chaos? How are you going to rebuild this stability, this union again? If you operate in ego, you will experience chaos. If you operate in stability and in building a foundation, you can battle anything or anyone that comes at you. So it's it's a choice, people. There's always a choice. You know, you have a choice here. Do we want to let that, that masculine energy back in? Right? You spend a long time working on yourself, working on your wounds, healing yourself. To be able to balance yourself. And now all of a sudden there is this uh, re-entry of the masculine energy. And it's creating some chaos. And that has to do with ego. What's Sunday's energy like? Six of pentacles into the seven of pentacles. What's very interesting is we have the two and the three. The four and the five. The six and the seven. Do you guys see this? This is a alignment that's happening. There's, all of this is necessary to get to this place of the Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. You guys know the Six of Pentacles energy is all about that energy of generosity, about that energy of reciprocity, balance. Seven of Pentacles is that reward that comes from balance. 
This in-between concept is sigh of relief. I feel like whatever happens here, this desire that I don't know if I want to let him back in and oh my God, there's chaos. There's some relief coming on Sunday. There is an achievement. Maybe you work through things. Maybe you work through your own chaos. Things are going to start to look positive on Sunday. Because there's a feeling like, you know, we can only go up from here. We've been through the worst. We can only go up from here. It's helping close out this cycle. How you get through this weekend's chaos and competition and the choices you make. You can choose to stay in ego. You can choose to stay in your power and in your alignment. And if you do, you close out a cycle. And there is this sigh of relief. Let's see the energies that masculine and feminine are holding towards each other. Bottom of the deck is this king, queen of swords, rather, into the king of swords. We know the queen of swords is all about holding the sword of truth, experience, guidance. We know the king of swords is all about power and authority and integrity. This in-between concept is all about confronting your demons. It's about, hey, if we're caught off guard, how are we going to handle it? How are we going to get into this energy of fighting off the things that do not serve us, the people, the situations, and the things that do not serve us? For feminine, here's that five of wands, six of wands energy. Interesting, because we right above it, we got the four of wands and the five of wands, right? Right here for Saturday's energy. So with this five of wands, six of wands, the five of wands we, we just talked about, Competition, ego, six of wands is victory, achievement, recognition. So this in-between concept for divine feminine's energy towards masculine is, okay, I'm going to let you in, but I'm doing it with a weary eye. It's this energy where we're proud of what we've achieved. There's people that probably want to pull us down from where we are. But you know what? We're stronger than that. We've learned from this. I'm going to accept this partnership. But I'm going to be very, very cautious as well. I'm going to have both eyes open. Masculine's energy towards feminine this weekend. I like this energy. Eight of pentacles into the nine of pentacles. He's going to have to work for it, right? Feminine's got both eyes open. Three eyes open, actually. Her two eyes and her third eye. All the eyes are open. Eight of pentacles, head into the nine of pentacles. Masculine's energy towards feminine. There's that energy of hard work, self-mastery. Nine of pentacles is about being single, self-sufficiency. This in-between concept is the last stand. This is the last stand for him to be self-sufficient and not struggle anymore. There's some sort of completion energy happening here. We keep seeing that. You know, here's that final push that masculine is going to um, go through. That final push of energy so he can manifest and materialize all that he's dreamt of. He knows he's got to give it his all this time. All or nothing. He knows that he's got to give it all he has. And then wait for the outcome to see what happens with his divine feminine. Very interesting energies. It'd be interesting to see what Monday's energy looks like. I don't know, do we wanna sneak peek it? Let's do it, let's do it. What does Monday's energy potentially look like? Remember free will, okay, people? What is the energy between masculine and feminine potentially on Monday? <laughs> you cannot make this up. Look at this. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups headed into the Knight of Cups. There's very much that energy of an offer, a gesture, a love offer. I love this card, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. You know, there's that energy of sweetness. You know, this is an energy here where we're starting to grow up. We are getting rid of our immature childish energy 
and we are awakening to new feelings from a place of maturity and the card that we have here what is the energy like between masculine and feminine potentially on monday we have the ten of pentacles headed into the ace success masculine's going to get through whatever the heck he's going through this is the eight and the nine of pentacles and here we have the ten there is success there is opportunity and look at you have a masculine and a feminine here when this card comes out as what could potentially happen there's an offer being made there's help there's assistance there's guidance there's opportunities for success here potentially there is an offer in the material world on monday to build something long term to have a new beginning from a place of maturity we're losing the innocence we're losing the energy of childishness we've grown up we're the king of swords energy and now we're ready to build something wow if you guys want to book your own personal reading coaching session or healing session go to queen of light 1111.com have a great day bye